Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. In this class, we will see uh, one more transformation. So earlier, uh, we have done router in the one of the last classes. And uh, what router does is it will take one uh, stream of one uh, source like employee table. And we have split based on salary using router transformation here. We have used uh, router transformation to split this into uh, multiple pipelines. Uh, low salary we have put here, medium salary we have routed to another pipeline and high salary we have routed to the third one. So now uh, what if we have three different streams of data like this, low salary in one file, medium salary employees in another file and high salary employees in the third file. So we want to merge all three of these into one uh, single pipeline uh, so what transformation will help us so let's see uh, we want to merge all the three into one target table uh, so let's see which transformation will help us here so yeah let's go to informatica tool i'm going to create a mapping called m employees union i will uh, pull employee source, uh, flat file source, uh, one for the low salary, one for the medium salary. So let me check quickly in my target uh, files directory how many flat files I have for employees. So default one dot out, high, low and medium. So there are four uh, flat files. So let me also here create four sources for uh, four uh, flat files. So I'll say name this as uh, SQFF underscore employees low salary. I will name the next one as medium salary. And so this is medium salary. And I'll pull one more source, a flat file source for the high salary. So let's name this as high salary. And finally, one more for the default salary. Uh, the default salary, if you remember, I've left a gap between 9k salary and 10k salary wantedly to send some records into the default group when I did router transformation. So for that, I'll pull one more source, which is called the default salary. So uh, I have four sources here. Now I'll have one target, which is employees table. And how do I merge all these uh, four streams of data into one? So that is where union transformation is going to help us. Union, uh, UNI underscore employees. So union transformation is exactly opposite of router. It is like a union all in the database. It will not remove duplicates. Uh, let me now join one input group, which is low salary. Uh, then so when I connected one uh, the low salary to the union automatically one input group and one output group got created so union will have only one output group and n number of input groups so I will add more groups now I am going to call this as low salary and the next input group I will call this as medium salary the next one I am going to call it as high salary and finally default salary which is between 9k and 10k so we have defined these ranges earlier now group ports is based on the first uh, low salary ports which we have dragged into this union transformation so let's close this and see uh, how the union transformation will look like so low salary medium salary high salary and default salary there are four our input groups and only one output group uh, so let let me connect this output group to the employees uh, target. So I'll do an auto link between union transformation output group and employees target. So all the ports got connected which are having the same names. Now I'll save this and I will create a workflow for this WF underscore employees union and I'll create a session for this employees union so uh, so I need to set my standard properties here right backward compatible log file so my target is a table source is a flat file 
so let me uh, take all these uh, four files from here and put it into source files directory so uh, the standard practice is to take the source files from the source files directory so save session log for five runs and stop on errors one and this file i'm going to name it as uh, so i need to check here uh, what is my file name uh, low salary one dot out so i'll take this and uh, put it in the properties here and uh, this file i'm going to name it as uh, okay i uh, did a small mistake here so instead of uh, pulling the uh, flat file medium uh, salary source i pulled uh, the table one so i just rectified that and then uh, i need to connect all these uh, source qualifiers to the respective input uh, groups in the union transformation so the high salary is this and finally the default salary is this one so let me connect this group to the target so i save this mapping now and i'll come here and uh, i'll refresh the mapping once more i'll connect these two and i'll save uh, this workflow and i'll check how my uh, sessions look like so i need to give the source file path here so this path is correct so let me give the medium salary one so i need to take it from here the name of the medium salary file so it is uh, ff employees uh, medium salary one dot out so medium salary one dot out same thing i'll take and uh, put in the default salary uh, it is default salary dot out so let me check once here so it is default dot out so let me take it from here and put it in the default uh, salary and then finally we have medium salary here uh, let me give the path for this as well so let me set uh, the target property uh, for this as dollar db dollar dollar target basically and finally uh, i'll also check the normal load and truncate and load option here and apply okay save this uh, session so it's valid so let's run this now so i am expecting 107 records to go into the target uh, from all the four sources together so we got 31 from uh, medium salary 49 from low salary 19 from high salary and 8 from default salary total is 107 records so got loaded into the target the session got succeeded so let's see how many rows are there here so 107 so department name location id is null because we have not looked up into the department uh, uh, table at all or flat file at all so so this is 107 records got loaded so uh, that is union transformation in informatica so let's see one more variation of this in the next class thank you